What's up guys, it's Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that you cannot uninstall a program on Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. But before we begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems, then just comment down below and I'll try to make a solution video for you. Now let's begin with the video. The first thing that you can do is restart your Windows installer. To do that, just press the Windows and R key at the same time to open up the run dialog box. Then type in services.msc and click open. In the next window, look for Windows installer service. And then once you find it, right click on it and then choose properties. Then in the properties, click on the stop button and then wait for a few seconds and then click the start button and make sure that the startup type is set to automatic in the settings. Then just click apply OK to save the changes and then try uninstalling a program and see if the steps worked. If it did not work, what you can do is re-register your Windows installer service altogether. So for that, just go to your Windows search and type in command prompt and then right click on it and click on run as administrator. Then type in the following command msi exec space slash unreg and then hit enter. After this command, just type in msi exec space slash reg server and then run this as well. And once these two commands are run, close the command prompt and try uninstalling the program now. The second step to solving this issue is ending the app's process in task manager. So for this, basically, if the program that you're trying to uninstall has a process running in the task manager, you cannot uninstall it. So to fix this, just type in the task manager in Windows search and then click on open. And then in the processes tab, look for the program that you're trying to uninstall and then just right click on it and then choose end task. Then once it's done, just check whether you can uninstall the program now. The third step is running the Windows Uninstall Troubleshooter. So you can download the Uninstall Troubleshooter program from Microsoft using the link provided in the description below. And once you do this, just open up the Troubleshooter and click on the advanced link in the window and then run repairs automatically by clicking next. And make sure that you check mark apply repairs automatically and then select uninstalling and select the program that you're having trouble with. If it is not listed in the dialog box, then you have to check mark the entry known as non-listed and then follow the on-screen instructions to find that program. And once all of this is done, then just restart your computer and check whether your program is uninstalled. The fourth step is uninstalling the app in safe mode. So for this, basically what can happen is that other apps might be interfering with the uninstallation process. So if you open up your windows in safe mode, it might solve this issue. To do this, go to your windows plus I key together to open up windows settings. Then choose system from the left pane and head over to the recovery section. Then under the advanced startup option, just click on restart now. And then once you hit it again, do the troubleshoot and then advanced options in the next window and then choose startup settings and then click on restart then you will open up the startup settings context menu then follow the windows procedures and press 4 to launch in safe mode once your pc boots into safe mode successfully just try checking whether you can uninstall the program you wanted to uninstall in this way and once you uninstall this then just restart your PC and you will be back in your original Windows mode. The fifth solution is opening the program's default uninstaller. So several programs actually come with their own uninstaller and you can find this uninstaller in the program's official folder in the file explorer on your PC. You can use this uninstaller to uninstall the program completely and if you cannot find the uninstaller in the file explorer try going to the official manufacturer's website of that program and see where it might be at the sixth solution is using a third-party uninstaller to fix this issue so we recommend revo uninstaller or iobit uninstaller for this both of them are really nice and you can use them to uninstall any software you want forcefully as well now the seventh solution is performing a clean boot 
So to do that, start up systems configuration and you can do this by pressing the windows and R key together to open up run and then type in msconfig. Then in the general tab, please select load startup items and then head over to the services tab and then select hide all Microsoft services to ensure you can't disable the essential system services. Then click disable all to remove all the third party services from the startup and then click apply and then OK. Then restart your computer and check whether they had fixed your issue of having a problem with uninstalling a program. Once you uninstall the program and it fixes your issue, then just go back to systems configuration and enable all the services one by one to find out which was causing the issue in the first place. Then you can just enable all as well if you want. The eighth step and the final step for this problem is cleaning your ghost programs register keys. So basically, even if you uninstall a program, it might still be popping up with its logo on your computer, even though it's uninstalled. That's because of its registry keys. Now, in order to uninstall them, you cannot actually use the default Windows uninstaller and you need a third party registry cleaner to remove these leftover files. And for this, as mentioned, third party uninstallers like Revo uninstaller or IOBit uninstaller are really nice which can do this for you. So try them out and then check for that fix your issue. So this was it for this video guys. I hope you liked this video and it helped you. If it did, then just like this video and subscribe to the channel. And if your problem still persists, then just comment down below and we'll try to figure out a solution for you. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.